Hey everybody, uh, so this is another uh, another uh, porch video. Um, I like doing the videos out on the porch, but uh, this is probably the first day I've wanted to do this video. I've tried to do this video many times, like at least three or four times already, and there's always something going on or it's raining. And uh, today's probably the first nice day that it hasn't been raining. And uh, if you look at the forecast, they put a chance of rain, 20 or 30 percent chance of rain every day for the week. And, um, I know in the Carolinas they do that just about every day in June and July just to cover their butt, I think is what it is. But um, but anyways, uh, I'm not growing as much stuff on my porch this year as I have in the previous years. Um, and that's because I've got more space right now right out in front of the house, um, you know, with the three big gardens and stuff, the two smaller ones and the big one over here. Um, and I'll do a little, I've got some more videos on that I'm going I'm to talk about. I don't know why I haven't uploaded them yet. But. Um, but this is kind of a seed saving video and uh, this is something that works really well for me that I've done in the past for uh, many different things uh, lambs quarters uh, amaranth quinoa basil um, I do this for pretty much most of them except for things that have big seeds if you have if you're saving seeds from something that has lots of flour and a little bit of seed this is probably the easiest way to do it and I think John Kohler did a video um, on it maybe about a year ago or something like that kind of like kind of like what I'm about ready to show you but um, my sorrel my sorrel is the coolest plant that I've had on my porch it was green all winter long the ones I planted at the food forest were green when we went there in January the only thing green that we actually saw in the middle of January was the sorrel that I planted the lemon sorrel and they went to seed right now and here's the the lemon sorrel and it started growing back really good since I cut the cut these guys off of there if you look these are the the seed stalks right here the flower stalks and this is about how big they were coming up out of here they were already taller than the patio and stuff but um, they dried out and I had a bunch of flowers on here and all I did was take the flowers and just kind of brush them off into the bowl right here and once I put them in the bowl I leave them in there for at least a couple days to kind of dry out some more and I just kind of crush everything up really good. Once it's really dry, you just kind of crush everything up really good. And then um, the biggest part is separating the seed, which is this black thing, from the chaff. And this is the chaff, the, the flower, the, the spent flower. And um, I'm going to show you guys right now how I do it. It's probably the easiest way to do it. I, I mean, there's a few other ways of doing it, but I think this is probably the, the fastest. And it works well for me, so I'm... Um, that's what I'm going to show you guys. But I'm going to update you guys on a few other things. Um, this container here and this container here were just empty things of dirt um, that made it all the way through the winter time. And this is lamb's quarters that I planted last fall in here, and they've just started growing. And I really don't know what this is. I'm thinking maybe Mexican petunia or something like that, but I never grew Mexican petunia. But uh, it's probably some type of weed, but I just kind of let it go. I thought the pomegranate died, but it's actually doing good. Um, this is the dwarf pomegranate, and I, I've had uh, uh, wood sorrel in here, which is that lemony clover, and I thought that the, the pomegranate wasn't going to make it, so I was just happy to have wood sorrel in here, but um, it eventually kind of kind of came through, and I've got green, green stalks, and I'm hoping to get some fruit on it this year. And I have a few little tiny carrots that I put in the ground in one of my previous videos and kind of made it through the winter time and I've got a couple things of lambs quarters that I've dug up and um, basically tree spinach and these are some wild ones that I dug up this year but back to the point this is the seed and chaff now if you guys look down in here you can kind of see this see if I can get it the best way all I do is shake and blow at the same time and you will see all of this the flowers Now I don't blow too hard and I make sure I've got a nice big bowl so the seeds don't fall out too. And that's it. That is all pure lemon sorrel seed right there. And 
there's all the flowers that were blown out of there. So that's it. Real simple and easy. Works great for amaranth, lamb's quarters, basil, um, anything else that's got a big flower and some small seeds. You could just let it dry out and blow them out. So, so that's it, guys.